developing a kick butt portfolio and demo reel. As you start your drone services business, building an amazing portfolio is definitely a top priority. Your clients need to try before they buy. And in our case as drone pilots, this means that they'll likely want to see the quality of your work and what you're able to produce before they hire you. Highlighting an incredible portfolio is a great way to build trust with your prospective clients. It's also the perfect opportunity for you to showcase your skills and the footage that you've captured. As an example, here are a few of the best drone shots that I've captured over the last few years. That's pretty awesome, right? But in all honesty, many drone businesses actually don't do a very good job of highlighting their best work. And I personally still have a long way to go. In this lesson, we'll talk about how to organize your portfolio by industry to get clients attention. We'll also cover pro tips for creating an extraordinary demo reel and how to elevate your portfolio with real case studies. We'll use real world examples, illustrating some of the best practices, which will help you elevate your drone portfolio. All right, let's get started. Your portfolio is a great place to target ideal clients by focusing the content that you highlight on their industry. Think of it this way, you're highlighting very specific pieces of your best work in the most relevant way possible for those potential clients. So for example, if you're interested in say, residential real estate work, then you wanna showcase the best drone footage that you have relevant to that field. The same goes for construction or filmmaking or any other industry that you want to pursue. Here's a good real world example of what we're talking about. Taylor Visions out of Jacksonville, Florida. They do a great job of showcasing their experience in each of these different industries. Here on their website, you can literally click into any one of these options to see more images and videos highlighting their work. It's a very nice and elegant portfolio design. And here's another example, Drone Services Phoenix out of Dallas, Texas. All right, <laughs> just trying to see if you're still paying attention. Drone Services Phoenix out of Phoenix, Arizona, of course. You can see here the four different service areas right at the top of their homepage. And when you click into say real estate as an example, once again, but you're getting some great targeted language that's very specific to this industry. Okay, one more example is Extreme Aerial Productions out of Scottsdale, Arizona. We're on their homepage here, and you can see by scrolling down their featured drone services. And when you click on say construction, again, you not only see examples of their work, but you also get very targeted language that is specific to the construction industry, as well as common drone projects and explanations of how drones can benefit construction companies and so on. These three websites are all really great real world examples of portfolios that speak directly to their customers. These are definitely good reference points to think of when you go about organizing your portfolio by industry. You've likely seen some incredible drone footage demo reels either on YouTube or from other drone company websites before. Now, of course, not all demo reels are produced equally. Some are much better than others and some like me still have a lot that they could learn. A good demo reel is one of the strongest assets that you'll have when first starting out your drone services business. So it's something that you really wanna focus on by putting your best foot forward. Here are a couple of my own personal pro tips for you. First one is to get a good video animation intro, preferably with your logo. An easy way to elevate your drone reel is to use what's called a video intro or a video bumper. To give you an example, here's the video intro we've been using in this course.
Now we made this using a pre-purchased Adobe After Effects animation template. After Effects is definitely something that you can learn if you wanna go about creating your own logo animation from scratch. However, if you don't necessarily have the After Effects know-how, or the time for that matter, that is totally fine too. It's honestly much easier to outsource your logo design and animation via an online freelance marketplace like Fiverr or Upwork, which we've mentioned previously in this course. A quick search for something like Logo Animator shows a bunch of different folks offering this service from anywhere between $50 all the way up to like almost $1,000. Now what you decide to ultimately spend on your logo design and animation is totally up to you. We'll link to these two sites below so that you can check them out when you've got time. Okay, our second pro tip is to curate your most dramatic footage. I'm gonna challenge you a bit here. If you wanna make yourself stand out, then the way that you're capturing footage and the way that you're editing that footage, it needs to be interesting and to stay fresh. You don't need to be in Bali or in Iceland or some far off exotic location, nor do you need to be on some massive active construction site to captivate somebody with your drone reel. It's not about where you are, it's about how you're flying and the footage that you're capturing. In more concrete terms, I would recommend that you create a good mixture of different classic camera movements in your drone reel. These are things like panning, tilts, dollies, and trucking shots. You'll also want to include some shots that help demonstrate your technical expertise. These would be things like flying really close to a subject or an object. Include some nice slow and smooth shots like an orbit around a fixed object. This is your classic point of interest drone movement. And finally, show some faster shots to keep up with the pace and flow of your demo reel. It's important to slice and dice your demo reel to have that flow. And a really good way to do that is to edit to the music that you want to include in your reel. Now this is a perfect transition to our next pro tip, which is don't underestimate sound effects. Now you may have noticed that your drone does not record sound. So how is it that when you see a drone clip over the ocean, that there's the sound of crashing waves and of seagulls? You never want to underestimate how important sound design is, especially with drone reels. Now sound design is a mix of the music that you use and sound effects. Most drone pilots when creating their first demo reel will use very dramatic music, kind of like a cinematic symphony, something like this. Or like this. And that can sound really cool, but make sure that it's not too over the top. It shouldn't distract from your footage. It should be used to enhance the scene. The best sound design is that which people don't even notice is there, like wind rustling through trees or spring birds singing. All right, so this all sounds good, but where do you get music and sound effects from without infringing on copyrights? Now this is very important, especially because you wanna do things by the book. And the good news is that royalty-free music options have expanded greatly in the last few years. And currently, there are a ton of websites where you can source music and sound effects legally. I specifically use two on almost a daily basis. The first one is Soundstripe based out of the US and the second is Epidemic Sound based out of Sweden. We've linked to both of these resources below this lesson for you to check out when you're ready. This is where you can really separate yourself from other drone service providers. Most people just share images or videos on their website, but you are not most people. You could share actual case studies of your work. Now these don't need to be lengthy case studies. They really only need to be a few words or phrases which will accompany each of the images or videos on your website, which will help your potential clients visualize what it is that you can do for them with your drone services. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look back at Extreme Aerial Productions. On that construction page that we were looking at earlier, they have a box where they call out, here are just some of the ways that we have used drone photography and videos for past clients. You can see here that they list very specific examples of the work that they've done. Here's another example, professional drone services at a Nashville, Tennessee. When you click on industries and then real estate, you see not only real estate images and videos, but also a bit more detail about each individual project. It's not extensive, but look here. Construction progress promotional video of building being renovated for new Franklin, Tennessee headquarters location. This is such a quick addition to this page and it really helps explain who the client was and how this drone business helped them. 
This sets clear expectations for your prospective clients and what they'll get if they hire you. Developing a kickbutt portfolio and demo reel is a key part of building your drone services business. We hope that the information that we covered in this video will help you get started on the right path to creating your very own.